champions for the first time in franchise history. You saw Jim Crane, their owner. Fallout from the Astros cheating scandal with some Astros players taking heat for how they're apologizing for the cheating. Well, Rivas here with that story. Good morning, Ray. From the top on down, here comes a one two pitch. Red Sox win the World Series. Five to one the final tonight. And the best team in baseball wins it all in 2018. This is deep to center field. Bellinger's back. It's a grand slam. Howie Kendrick with a 10th inning grand slam to break it open. Wow. It is 7 to 3. The former Dodger. Washington dugout. Let's take another look at this. Tried to go a two seamer right here, trying to get that rollover. And Kendrick, as good as anybody, staying inside the ball and going the other way. Behind second, and that is going to be caught by Michael A. Taylor. And the Washington Nationals have knocked out a heavyweight. In 10, they beat the Dodgers. In game five. Well, I think that ball bobbled around too, went up in the air, and he caught it to win. Baseball news, though, is our breaking news on SportsCenter. Mookie Betts, the 27 year old star outfielder, again agreeing to a 12 year extension with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Sources tell our Jeff Passan that you got to add it up, do the math, so his current one year deal of 27 mil. It now equals $392 million with this extension. For perspective, Betts' deal is the second largest in history. Major League Baseball history trailing only Mike Trout's 12-year deal worth $426 million that he signed. Run into you. Have to keep your hands tight to your body. And unless they throw that pitch right there, that slider. And when he throws that slider. Oh, here it comes. He struck him out, sticking with a fastball. They had the bases loaded with one out. Back to back strikeouts on a high 90s cheese. As he goes out there to make a change, you would not want to lose your manager in a game with this many decisions to make, and he just did. Jimmy's Tingler's been thrown. More runs batted in than any player in the postseason in Dodger history. That's number 36. Okay, still going. Cody Bellinger swings at the first pitch of the inning, launches a ball to center field, and the first pitch of the fourth, he leaves the yard. First home run of this series comes from the reigning MVP, and the Dodgers have this is ball to deep center field. Bellinger twisting around, still going, he's at the wall! He's playing mid to shallow, right? This ball, and it, it turns him around. And his ability to get back to the wall and make this catch just screams of his athleticism and his field for the game. You're talking about a first baseman that's playing outfield, but he could play pretty much any outfield position. He can do it all, folks. This is going to be one of those highlights you see for a long time if the Dodgers have a special postseason this year. Greta also know about Thank this. <laughs> Throwing oh. glove. Bat flip, glove flip. Wow. 2 1 pin. And that'll do it. And the Los Angeles Dodgers have another date in the National League Championship Series. On infield hit by Betts, and now it's due. Here's, here's a hit first. Here. For pitchers, you don't make it out of the first. Inning. Here's a fly ball into right center field. Back at the wall. It is gone. Grand slam. And the first inning is historic. Here. This ball game is tied. And a couple of stops. come from behind in the series. They come from behind in game seven and they win the National League pennant. And the Dodgers advance to the World Series for the third time in the past four years.
the team with the best record in baseball all year long, 43-17. and 17. In first place since the 13th of August are the champions of the National League. The third time is the charm. The Dodgers are in the World Series for the third time in four years, but still looking for that first championship in 32 years. It's not about just getting to the World Series. It's about winning the World Series. It's winning or bust. They need to get the trophy and the ring this year. From day one, you know, we came out as a group and said, if there's a, a championship to be won, we're going to go after it and, and we're going to try to try to run it down. Those guys are ball players, man. They're there to, there to win the World Series the same way we are. And they didn't make it to the World Series on accident. You know, they're, they're, they're good ball players and it's not going to be easy by any means. One one. That's a tough play. Kershaw off the mound. Gloves rips and got him to end the inning and gets around a hit and a walk. One two pitch. There is another strikeout. Benino strikes out swinging. Another strikeout. Four on the night. The 0-2. Swung on and missed strike three. Six strikeouts for Kershaw through four. He's retired 11 straight. Kershaw. Throws to first. Throw home and not in time. Around the tag is Betts. Great base running by Mookie Betts, and it's 3-1 to one Dodgers here in the fifth inning. It is 6-1. to one. Mookie Betts heading on back is Renfro at the wall, and it's gone. A home run. Mookie Betts is doing nearly everything. So the Dodgers win game one of the World Series, eight to three. Hitting 216. Here's one shot in the left, back at the wall, it is gone. Justin Turner has put the Dodgers on top in game three. One on the Jansen on one and one delivers, and Troy Swings and lines one to left. Right there is Taylor, and the Dodgers take a two games to one lead in the 2020 World Series. There's still a lot of. Tonight at Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas, the Dodgers sit one win away from their first World Series championship in 32 years. The Dodgers need to win tonight. If not, you get to game seven. I don't want to see the Dodgers in that situation. The Dodgers have been waiting for this for 32 years. For the past 32 years, they have been waiting for tonight. So they need to finish this. They need to stop playing with fire. The 28 guys that are Tony Gonsolin, ninth round pick. He is pitching the biggest game of his life. And he starts the night with a strikeout. And Randy Arozarena is at the plate. And he's done more with the bat in his hands than just about anybody else. Here's one into right. That ball will carry back at the wall and it's gone. Zarena has put Tampa Bay on top as he flicks one into the seats and right onto the tarp. And it's one to nothing Tampa Bay as he has his 10th postseason home run. And now facing elimination, the Rays have scored in the first and have a chance for more. Change up gets him down and in. 27 years old, 6'4, 225, Blake Snell. Yeah, he's been awesome and really has a chance to quiet the power of this Dodger lineup. And a strikeout starts the night for Snell. Here's Seeger. Back to back strikeouts, and the batter will be Turner. He struck out the side. He can't do it any better. Another 
another strikeout for Snell. Four. Made it look easy. He has struck out five. Number seven. That is strikeout number eight. Struck out the side. Snell has become the second pitcher in World Series history with nine strikeouts through the first four innings of a ball game. The other, Sandy Koufax in 63. To match Blake Snell's dominance, the Dodgers used their bullpen to effectively shut down Tampa Bay's bats and turned to Victor Gonzalez who was discovered on the same scouting trip in Mexico as Julio Urias to start the sixth inning. The only thing you got to tell yourself if you're Gonzalez, don't leave a fastball or anything middle to middle in against the left-hander. Good pitch by Gonzalez, one away. And the batter will be Margot. Here's the 2-2, and a strikeout by Gonzalez. He has struck out the first two of the sixth. 2 2 pitch. Struck him out, and Gonzalez strikes out the side. Sixth inning, one to nothing. On the home run by Rosarena in the first inning. And the hardest part about Kevin Cash's job is he's got tremendous arms in the pen. That's going to be the hardest decision if he knows that Snell has more gas in the tank. It's popping. One pitch. One out in the sixth. The batter will be Austin Barnes, the number nine man. Here's one into center, and the number nine man, Barnes, is aboard with one out in the sixth. The very scenario Kevin Cash was dreading out of 20 of them is kind of this one. That's going to be it. Man, you talk about a short leash. 73 pitches, two hits, nine strikeouts. Snell can't believe it. And we'll see how it works out. Back to the top of the order, and Nick Anderson comes into the game. Here's a 2 0. Hard hit and fair. Down the line. Hits the fence. Digging for third is Barnes. They will hold him there on a double by Betts, and the Dodgers are in business in a blink here in the sixth. And now Seeger will dig in, and this is a tough situation, but they're going to try to pitch to Seeger with the infield in. Second and third. One out. This one gets by Zunino. Tie game. Now Seeger, with any one of a number of things, can give the Dodgers their first lead of game six. Infield still in. corner a 95 mile an hour fastball and now the Dodgers are six outs away two to one eighth inning and Randy Arozarena is at the plate he's homer tonight the only raise run takes a strike from Urias. Remember, he pitched the last three innings in a one-run ball game, 4-3, in the NLCS Game 7 to close it down. And with question marks at the back end of their bullpen, the Dodgers very well could do it again. Here's one into right center. Bellinger, great jump, one away. What a play. Boy, he's had some jumps out in center, and that was not as easy as Cody Bellinger made that look. 
Hunter Renfro comes off the bench to bat. Looked like a changeup. Here is Rios, fresh into the game. Throws a strike to him. Down to the final four. The one, two. Put on and miss strike three. Burrius retires the side in order. They are now three outs away from winning the World Series. Clinging to a one-run lead in the bottom of the eighth, the Dodgers' most notable off-season addition steps to the plate. High fly ball, left center. Back in the wall, and it's gone! who's in his fifth year managing in his third World Series. His team needs three defensive outs, and he's got the electrifying Julio Urias in the ball game to get him. Who fires a strike. Can you imagine Julio Urias' father, Carlos, watching in Mexico, his first coach? with every pitch here tonight with his 24-year-old trying to end the World Series and win their first championship in 32 years. Here comes a 1-2 to Margot. Will pop up into right. Mookie Betts is there. And the first-year Dodger has out number one. Rosso has swung the bat very well this postseason trying to give the Rays a chance. Urias, good and looking to out. Dodger fans to their feet. Urias, calm, cool, and collected. Has retired all six he's faced. Strike one on Willie Adamas. They used moves three years ago that would have been by the book that didn't work out. And I think Dave has, along with his staff, recognized a couple things as the postseason's gone on to trust a guy like Urias to finish a game. That is strike two. Wherever you are, remember this moment. Dodgers have won it all in Spring training to, to now, um, you know, we, we prepared for all these situations that came. Um, you know, we executed when it was time to execute. When our backs were against the wall, we came back. Everything special about this, this group of guys, and you know, we uh, we love each other. We played for each other, and not just uh, the Dodgers. to 
present to you the Commissioner's Trophy as a symbol of your 2020 World Series victory. This is our year. We said it. This is our year. I've never been around a group that's closer, that's tougher, that I love more. And for guys like Clayton, I couldn't be happier for you, Kirsch. Couldn't be happier. You want to talk about a narrative? How about being a champion? He's a champion forever. Kelly Jansen, what you've done, thank you. Justin Turner, thank you. Rick Honeycutt, thank you. And to every single one of you guys, I love you so much for all your work, your care, your unselfishness. Congratulations, you guys. 32 years of waiting are over. Congratulations to the 2020 World Series champion, Los Angeles Dodgers. All those people that have seen the disappointment before and they wanted it just as bad as I did and they wanted it for me and that's such a selfless thing to feel and so it's it's overwhelming just to, to think that people care that much about about you and have how they want you to have success and reach your dreams and things like that so it's not lost on me and I, I just uh, it's a it, I'm just very thankful for every single person that has always been in our corner